I'm going to be ranking the top 10 pink diamond cards in NBA 2K23. My team, let me know in the comment section down below who are some of your guys' favorite pink diamond cards in my team right now, and let me know what you guys would change about my top 10. But coming in here at my number 10 spot is going to be pink diamond Lamelo Ball. I think it was really close between guys like Lonzo. I think Lonzo and Lamelo are really, you know, interchangeable at the point guard spot and for the pink diamond tier. And there were some other really good pink diamond cards that I obviously had to leave off the list. But in my opinion, I think Lamelo is the 10th best pink diamond card because he's going to be one of the best point guards he's six foot seven with a six foot ten wingspan and this card offensively is an absolute bucket his stats and badges might not look too crazy but if you guys don't know lamello has got one of the best bases in the game like literally in the entire game he's got one of the best jump shots and he's also got that on quick timing so it's going to be a super easy jump shot to green and it's going to be very fast as well and he's also got the best dribble style in the game the mj dribble style and the best leaner in the game the normal leaner so i mean Lamelo ball an absolute bucket on the offensive end and going to be my 10 best pink diamond card coming in here at my number nine spot is going to be the glitch dwight howard he's a center power forward six foot eleven with a seven foot four wingspan now i do think he's better at the power forward spot but the reason why i think he's super super elite is because the fact that he can play the center and the power forward position and be elite at both because yes he's only six foot eleven so maybe a tiny bit undersized for the center spot but he's got some amazing defense 95 interior defense 95 block even having an 82 steel 85 lateral quickness with an 84 perimeter and then finishing around the rim he's going to be dunking on everybody 95 driving dunk 95 standing dunk and he's also going to be super fast 88 speed 88 acceleration and he's going to be super athletic with a 95 vertical and a 95 strength and he's a glitch card so he's got a 91 three ball with hall of fame corner specialist gold catch and shoot claymore dead eye and gold limitless range on a dwight howard card that can play the power forward position i don't think we realize how good this dwight howard card is like i feel like i don't see many people running him because obviously we have some really good trophy case pink or really good trophy case power forwards in the game but this dwight howard card is an absolute beast especially at the pink diamond tier and then coming in at my number eight spot i think honestly i'm kind of debating putting dwight howard over a guy like lebron because dwight can play the four and he's probably better at the four than lebron is at the three so i think i'm actually going to change my mind i'm going to go lebron at the number nine spot and dwight at the number eight spot so looking at lebron here he's a six foot nine small forward with a seven foot wingspan he's got great speed 94 speed 94 acceleration and all around he's going to be a great defender having 90 steel 80 block and 90 perimeter with an 88 interior defense so he's going to be all around a great defender with pretty much unstoppable going to the rim with a 95 driving dunk and a 92 vertical we also know lebron is unstoppable in the paint having hall of fame bully and posterizer as well and then this year guys if you don't know lebron actually has a really good jump shot like in the past my teams especially at the start of the year they like to not give lebron good jump shots i don't know if this is based off free life or that's just based off in general they don't like giving lebron good releases but this year they actually gave lebron a really really good jump shot so he's got one of the best jump shots in the game for a small forward and that's the reason why he's going to be in this top 10 but like i said I'm switching it up going with LeBron at number nine and Dwight at number eight just because Dwight is such a good center being six of an 11 with some crazy defense and a great player model but he's going to be way better at the power forward spot where LeBron can only really play the three I mean you can maybe run LeBron at the power forward spot but definitely going to be undersized but coming in I'm at number seven spot we are going to be going with the best center in the game and that is going to be the pink diamond cream he's a center seven foot two with a seven foot five wingspan like I said I do think he's the best center in the game I know there's guys like Shaq who are definitely very close to him, even guys like Hakeem, even Tim Duncan that are very close to a guy like Kareem, but in my opinion, I do think Kareem is the best center in the game. He's going to be such a good defender, 92 block, 93 interior defense. He's super fast for a center, 88 speed, 88 acceleration. He's going to be great at finishing around the rim, 85 driving dunk, 90 standing dunk. I mean, the card's only, I guess you could say flaw, is only having a 63 ball, but if you guys have used this card or played against him, he's got one of the best big man jump shots in the game, at least when it comes to greening like i can i feel like i can agree with this card more than i can agree with a guy like hakeem or more than i can agree with the card like even maybe even chris stops like sometimes i feel like this card's got one of the best big man jump shots in the game so all around gonna be the seventh best pink diamond card coming in i'm at number six spot is gonna be the best point guard in the game and that is gonna be pink diamond penny hardaway he's a point guard shooting guard six foot three or six foot three six foot seven with a six foot ten wingspan and this card when it comes down to a point guard is the most complete in my opinion in the game he's 
going to be really good playmaking wise 93 ball handle 93 speed with ball with also having some amazing hall of fame playmaking badges like clamp breaker dimer hyperdrive killer combos quick first step he's got some of the best hall of fame playmaking badges in the entire game defensively he's got gold clamps chase on artist challenger like i mean across the board this card is just very well rounded i wouldn't say he's got anything too crazy going for him other than the fact that he's six foot seven at the point guard spot and he's just got very well rounded stats with a very solid jump shot the normal leaner and the trey young dribble style as well which is one of the better dribble styles in the game and the penny hardaway size up is one of the better uh, better size ups in the game at least for my team's sake because we really don't have the good of sigs in my team yet so penny hardaway size up really isn't going to be that bad and then guys coming in i'm at number five spot halfway into the list here is going to be pink diamond ricky davis and i think these next probably three cards i think you could really put in whatever order you want to number five four and number three i mean ricky davis though is a shooting guard small forward six foot seven with a six foot ten wingspan and offensively he's going to be one of the best for shooting guards in the entire game and especially for pink diamond cards like he's going to be one of the best offensive pink diamond card in the game he's got a 92 three ball 94 mid-range pretty fast 92 speed 92 acceleration great at going to the rim 95 driving dunk 90 vertical he's got hall of fame amped dead eye volume shooter and some really good gold shooting badges like limitless range you know agent three blinders catch and shoot claymore corner specialist guard up and then defensively i mean he's going to be very solid like he's not an amazing defender I wouldn't say he's like a great defender, but he's going to be solid. Like I would say he's a good defender. He's also great playmaking wise, having those two really important Hall of Fame playmaking badges, Clamp Breaker and Quick First Step. Those are super key to have on a guy that you want to be really good on the offensive end for your point guard, shooting guard, or even small forward, power forward, or center. Like those are just really important badges to have. He's also got a 94 ball handle and a 90 speed with ball. So stats and badges wise, this card is an absolute beast. But that's not even where the where he you know where he's the best at. It's going to be when it comes to the animation screen. He's got one of the best releases in the game, having that Oscar Robinson upper is one of the best uppers in the game. It's going to be on quick timing, so a super fast jump shot. And then you've got some of the best dribble sticks in the game with the MJ dribble style, the T Max size up, and the Paul George escape. I mean, these are some of the best sigs and some of the best jump shots in the game, especially in my team. So for me, Ricky Davis is going to be the fifth best pink diamond card coming in. I'm at number four spot. It's going to be the pink diamond card now there's only really there's only really one reason why this card is so elite and the reason why you know he's the fourth best pink diamond card in my opinion and that just comes down to his jump shot and his animations he's got the mj dribble style the normal leaner which is really nice but jump shot wise i mean this is one of the best releases in the game especially being on quick timing it's one of the fastest jump shots in the game as well so as a small forward he's just gonna be able to pull up in people's faces whether it's in the corner the top of the key the wing he can literally just shoot from anywhere on the court having that hall of fame limitless range bad any uh, limitless range badge and he does have some really good playmaking badges on hall of fame including clan breaker or not clan breaker sorry qu uh, killer combos hyper drive and handles for days and then basically if we're comparing this card to his diamond i mean it's basically just diamond carmelo with a, a bit of upgrades to the offensive stats but he just becomes a way better defender and does get limitless range from bronze all the way up to hall of fame as you guys can see now looking at the pink diamond his defensive stats do become a lot better and he now is hall of fame limitless coming in at my number three spot is going to be pink diamond kobe Bryant, and like i said i think number five you know ricky davis carmelo and kobe i think you could really throw in which whatever order you want to if you want to have kobe at five you know ricky at four carmelo at three or maybe you want to have ricky at three you're sorry you want to have carmelo at three ricky at four kobe at five like whatever which way you want to order that i think is definitely fine i mean kobe Bryant for me though is going to be the third best pink diamond card i think comparing him to a guy like ricky davis they're going to be similar on the offensive end but in my opinion kobe bryant is just a better defender by a decent amount i would say ricky's a little bit better on the offensive end but kobe's going to be a good amount better on defense but both going to be very elite shooting guards especially at the pink diamonds here and then coming in at my number two spot i think number two number one do take a pretty decent jump from the last you know four or five cards we talked about like Giannis antonacumpo man the one of the best pink diamond cards in the game he's six foot eleven with a seven foot four wingspan he can play the power forward and small forward position stat that's wise i mean just going to be super well-rounded and we all know Giannis gets some of the best defensive animations in the game and just some of the craziest animations as well and he's also got hall of fame clan breaker and quick first step as well i feel like for these next two guys there's not too much to explaining to be needed Giannis at number two and tim thomas at number one i mean there's nothing really to explain about tim thomas maybe for new to the game if you guys don't know he's a six foot ten small forward with a seven foot two wingspan i mean stats wise one of the most well-rounded cards in the game he's got some of the eight best hall of fame badges 
the game like clamp breaker killer combos quick first step dead eye corner specialist catch and shoot amps agent three like all of those hall of fame badges are some of the best in the game and then animations wise he's got the lamello ball base which i talked about one of the best bases one of the best jump shots in the game he's also got the trey young upper which is one of the best uppers in the game on quick timing and he's also got some of the best dribble six and the normal leaner as well so i mean uh tim thomas easily the best pink diamond card in the game obviously still the best card in the game but guys let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about my top 10 pink diamonds and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace